Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to the Wells of Wisdom Tarot channel. My name is Camille. It is my absolute pleasure to be reading for you. This is a love reading for the first half of February for Scorpio. I am doing a universal tarot spread in love. So a universal relationship tarot spread. I'm going to pull three cards for your energy, Scorpio. Three cards for your person, whoever you're thinking of in this area and then two cards here and then we'll pull some clarifiers if the messages are unclear so thank you spirit guides angels teachers ancestors please let me know what's coming in for scorpio sun moon rising and venus scorpio scorpio please like share comment and subscribe Push the bell so that you'll know when I upload a new video for you. I bless this deck with all forms of light and love. And I want the highest and best good of all of the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus who are watching this, who will be watching this. Scorpio, I also, I only take the jumpers of the deck, so please be patient. All right, let us begin. Scorpio, in love. Scorpio. Scorpio's partner. Think of them. Feelings that Scorpio has for their partner. Feelings Scorpio has for their partner. Spirit, thank you so much. Wow. What are the feelings that Scorpio's partner has for Scorpio? Okay. This is the behavior that you're displaying, Scorpio, to your partner. the behavior that you're displaying. All right, and let's see. What's the behavior your, your person that Scorpio is involved with? What's the, what's the behavior in the relationship that they're displaying currently? Thank you. hard at work, becoming stable, and witty. All right, can you see the cards? You can. All right, we got to pull two more cards right here. What's happening now in this situation or relation or marriage? What's happening right now currently with Scorpio and their love interest? What's happening currently? Scorpio and their love interest. Thank you. That was on the bottom of the deck when I started shuffling. What's the future outcome of this relationship, Spirit? 
future outcome of this relationship. Thank you. Wow. All right. First thing, we'll pull clarifiers too. The first card that came out was the Ace of Wands. This is a pat this is a new passion. This is something that you're passionate about. Perhaps you have a new partner. We're going to have to clarify, but this is your energy, Scorpio. Now remember, this could be your person's energy and this could be your energy. Energies like to flip even in between. So, this first two could be your partner and you, and then this next one could be you and your partner. So just listen and just see if you if you can figure out the story or if this resonates with you. So, Ace of Wands, it is a new passion. It's being you're being gifted a new passion from the divine. Okay? That's how you feel about this partner. Now, the way the partner feels about you, Scorpio, is that they want to apologize for a quarrel, an argument for fighting with you. This is passion. This is fire energy. So I'm thinking you guys are dealing with an uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. They're trying, they're giving you a message of love. They want to apologize because it sits right there. They're trying to apologize. We'll clarify. That's how they're thinking of you currently. Now, your feeling is you feel left out in the cold. And here's where it conflicts. They feel, now this could be drinking too much, but how this looks right now is you feel like you're left out in the cold. You're worried about your finances. You're worried about um, what people think. They're worried about, or what they're feeling this is the wish card. This could also be drinking too much and overindulging. But right now, without any clarifiers, this is the wish card. You, the way they feel about you is that you are their total package. You are the thing that they want, Scorpio. And all these cups are full of love to give to you. Okay. What behavior you're displaying right now is that your... The Empress. The Empress is all four queens. Queens are the doers of the tarot. They're the ones that get the stuff done. The kings are after the work is done and they are reaping in the rewards of their hard effort. You are the Empress. You are all four queens put together. Mother energy. The chariot is run by the emperor. So there's the king and there's the divine union there. But the this is what we're... What we are, sorry, Mercury is in retrograde and my tongue is getting goobly got. Blah, 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 sorry. The Empress and the Chariot is fast movement over a decision. You need to make a decision. So what you're displaying right now is, do I take the house, the home, the motherly role? Do I take the boss role and move to a new home? move towards something different, you need to make a head over heart decision and you're keeping it secret because there's a moon there. And that indicates that there, this is happening within. You're not necessarily displaying these energies in their totalitary right now. The also the other feeling I'm getting is that you're, you're ready to move fast. To make this decision because the chariot is fast energy the empress is the mother card she is she's the one that tames the beast the lion in the strength card we're gonna have to clarify this as well okay so your partner we've already talked about that we've already talked about that this they want to work hard they're trying to work hard to, to gain stability and the energy of the King of Wands is air. So that is Aquarius, 
Gemini, Libra. This person is Kurt. This person can also, this person is transformed. So the King of, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords is stability and practicality and nurturing, as well as being about their business, very intellectual, very knowledgeable, and cuts things that do not serve them together, okay? So they're trying to show you that they're the man or they're the woman that you want them to be, the solid, secure person. Right now, in the relationship, here's the energy. You all are taking a break. You're meditating. You're, you're going within. You are looking for something. This person is on their bed, laying down, resting. You guys aren't talking right now. You might be together. You might even live in the same house. But right now, currently, you are not talking. The future outcome is the Hierophant card. Now, we haven't clarified, but the Hierophant card is... Marriage, commitment, the, it's the institution, okay? And in a love reading, it's the marriage card. So for a final outcome, that's good. Now let's do some clarification. First card, let's clarify, is the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands? Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Ace of Wands here in the thoughts of Scorpio? The Ace of Wands. Wow. The Page of Swords. The... So to clarify, the Ace of Wands, we have the Page of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. This is independent. Working hard, Three of Pentacles. So you're hard at work. About a King of Cups. This is your energy, Scorpio. This is the total, this is emotional mastery. This man, this king is emotional, emotionally mature. He knows what he wants. He knows what's in that cup and he knows how to pour it into somebody else's cup. Your energy. Balancing out. Pentacles are things. So these are people, places, and things. You're trying to juggle. You're trying to make a decision. See? See? Again, you're trying to make a decision. This one is more open and you're feeling regret. So your regret, you feel regret about making a decision about, yep. As you watch this person be independent, you're worried about him making a decision to work with you because they're so independent. This could be another Scorpio. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be an, an air sign. Aries, Gemini, Aquarius. But this person, you're watching this person be abundant and wondering, can we work together? Or am I going to regret showing them that I am the King of Cups? Okay. Why is the five of pentacles here? Because that would that would explain why you feel left out in the cold. Because this person, you're trying to make a decision, Scorpio, of should I, do I want this person or do I not? And someone's being secretive. Why is the five of pentacles here for the feelings that Scorpio has? Why is it the five of pentacles? Wow, this wanted to come out. These two, three, wow. You're trying to make a different decision. Or sorry, you're trying. Here's the second two or the third two. Two of swords, two of wands. And I believe up in here is the two of pentacles. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Two of pentacles is making a decision. So you feel like you need to make a decision to walk away for something else that has that's more lucrative. This is the seven of pentacles. You're waiting for results. These seeds are these, yeah, these seeds, these pentacles will grow into a rich vine, something tangible. You feel left out in the cold, so you're making a decision to move away to something different. 
here's the behavior you're displaying. So that decision on what to do. Why is the Empress and the Chariot here? Thank you. You're defend. You're you're trying to defend. See that? You're defending. You're defending your relationship. Why, and so if you're defending, he's defending. So now let's see the thoughts that your partner has about Scorpio. So that makes sense. We're going here, or sorry, not thought, feelings, but the, the feelings. Why is the nine of cups here? Wow, that's too many. I'll take the world. Wow, 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 spirit. Thank you. Okay, Scorpio, your person wants to resurrect this. Your wish come true and he doesn't want it to end. He wants he wants reconciliation. I keep saying he, I am sorry. They she, somebody wants rec reconciliation with you. Why, Spirit, is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Please clarify the four swords. Thank you. You're getting your justice. The four of swords. And this is this is what's happening right now. These are two major arcanas. This is Libran. So Libra. And this is Taurus. Capricorn. No, I'm sorry. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. And Scorpio. It's the four cardinal cards. So Scorpio, this is your energy. A Libra, a Libra, somebody with Libra energy, wants a new opportunity, wants wants justice with you. You are you are the destined opportunity, and they want to make it right. Why is the Hierophant here in the final outcome? I think someone's realizing that you are what their total wish and they're running back to you. Too many. Wow. Any clarification on this hair of them, please? Yep. Look at that, Scorpio. What did I say? They're coming back. They don't want you to go. Here's the confirmation. These two cards, the 1111, this is halfway to marriage, Scorpio. This is the marriage card. They want a commitment. And this is the future outcome. You're going to get the commitment. Because now, as they rest, they figure out, oh my gosh, my justice is to be with this Scorpio. You're their justice. You're their good karma. If justice was like this, then that would be bad karma. Justice is like this with the destined opportunity card. Yes, you could be dealing with a, a Libra. You could be, because the justice is Libra energy. The Hierophant is Taurus energy. Okay. Let's pull Scorpio. I want you to ask two questions. Think about two questions. As I shuffle, I want you to ask the first question. This is for Scorpio spirit. Question number one for Scorpio. All right, last time Scorpio. Scorpio. All right. 
Think of a question. First question for Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. Whoops. First question for Scorpio. Sorry for moving the camera. There we go. Oh, Scorpio, look, big happy changes. You're going in a new direction. Choose a new direction. You're getting big happy changes. Wonderful. Let's do question number two. Look at that. Yes, for the que second question. Yes, Scorpio. And here's a little bonus, no need to worry. Scorpio, it's been my absolute pleasure to read for you. It looks like new things are happening, big happy changes. You're getting the yes card, no need to worry. A new commitment's coming in, or a commitment is coming in that leads to marriage. Somebody here wants to work with you, Scorpio. Don't overthink. Stay grounded, and I see good things coming to you. Scorpio, take care. Love and light, and I hope it helps. Namaste.